Hello everyone and welcome to today's Maths on the Move Active Maths Quiz. I'm Pete from Progressive Sports and today we've got a maths quiz with a twist. There are going to be 10 questions for you to answer but instead of writing the answers down we want you to match your answers with the movement on the screen. Are you ready? Let's go! Okay so if you're ready to go here's question number one. Multiply 7 and 9 together. Have a think about it. Is it answer A, 63, answer B, 69, or answer C, 79? So looking at the movements, if you think it's answer A, star jumps, answer B, jab punches, or answer C, pendulum legs. Well done if you were rocking those star jumps. The answer is A, 63. Lovely. Question number two. How many metres in a quarter of a kilometre? Is it answer A, 200 metres, answer B, 250 metres, or answer C, 300 metres? So if you think it's answer A, it's windmill, answer B, running on the spot, or answer C, donkey kicks. Off you go. Well done if you were running on the spot. Answer B is correct, 250 metres. Okay, question number three. What is one less than 4,950? Is it answer A, 4,949? Or answer B, 4,849? Or is it answer C, 5,051. If you think it's answer A, star jumps, answer B, burpees, or answer C, high knees. Well done if you were smashing out those star jumps, it is answer A, 4,949. Okay, question number four. How many degrees are there in one whole turn? Is it answer A, 180, answer B, 270, or answer C, 360? So if you think it's answer number A, we should be bouncing on the spot. Answer B, show us your balance. Or answer C, spotty dogs. Well done if you said answer C, 360, that is correct. And it's a firm family favourite, the Spotty Dogs. Okay, question number five. Round 6,287 to the nearest 10. Answer A would be 6,200. Answer B, 6,290. Or answer C, 6,300. So if you think it's answer A, butterfly, answer B, backflips, or answer C, show us your balance.
Well done if you were smashing out those back flicks. It's answer B, 6,290. Okay, question number six. Which of these fractions is greater than one half? Is it answer A, one third, answer B, five eighths, or answer C, two fourths? So if you think it's answer A, it's pendulum legs. If you think it's answer B, it's bend and shoot. And if you think it's answer C, show us your balance. Well done if you thought it was answer B, 5 eighths, that's correct. Great technique on that bend and shoot. Question seven, what is 135 centimeters in meters? Is it answer A, one meter, 35 centimeters? Answer B, 13 meters, five centimeters? Or answer C, 13.5 meters? If you think it's answer A, it's star jumps, answer B, it's jab punches, or answer C, it's pendulum legs. Well done if you were smashing out those star jumps again. It is answer A, one meter, 35 centimeters. Okay, question eight. An angle of less than 90 degrees is called? Answer A, acute. Answer B, obtuse. Or answer C, cute. So if you think it's answer A, show us your windmill. If it's answer B, smash out running on the spot. Or if it's answer C, let's see those donkey kicks. Well done if you're swinging those arms over a good windmill because it is answer A, acute. Question nine, what is minus seven plus nine? I'll give you a minute to think on that one. Is it answer A, 16? Answer B, 10? Or answer C, two? If you think it's answer A, show us your star jumps. If you think it's answer B, smash out some burpees. And if you think it's answer C, get those knees up, show us your high knees. Well done if you said answer C, two high knees, you are correct. Okay, last question, question number 10. How many right angles are there in one whole complete turn? I'll give you a minute to think. Is it answer A, three, answer B, four, or answer C, five? If you think it's answer A, Bounce on the spot. If you think it's answer B, show us your balance. And if you think it's answer C, show us those spotty dogs. Perfect balance, well done everyone that said answer B, it is four. Brilliant work, I hope you're nice and sweaty. 
and enjoyed that workout. I hope you enjoyed that quiz today. I know I did. Thank you to everyone who joined in. If you were keeping count of how many you got correct out of 10, then maybe you can try and beat your score on the next Maths on the Move Active Maths Quiz. The world around us is changing. You're faced with the new challenge of homeschooling your children. For some, this is a worrying prospect, and for those who are expected to work from home, it's a near impossible task. We worry that our children will fall behind, especially in the core subject areas of English and Maths. Adding variety to your daily routine, whilst keeping your children motivated to learn and remembering to stay active, can be really difficult. The Mighty Maths home learning platform has been developed to help you right now. It keeps your children motivated, boosts confidence and improves attainment in the fundamentals of maths through fun and frequent practice. Using the concept of active learning, Mighty Maths combines fun, on-demand videos to keep your children active, with short sets of varied maths arithmetic challenges. Written by teachers and used by primary schools nationwide, Mighty Maths has been developed in line with the national curriculum, so you can rest assured that the questions your children are tackling are appropriate for their age. And using it is really straightforward. There's no need for any printing. Simply select your video, work out with Tom, and then tackle the maths questions, all on any device. The answers are waiting to be revealed, meaning your children can evaluate their progress straight away. We want to help as many households as possible during this period, so we've reduced the price from £60 to just £5 until the 22nd of May. This gives you access to a library of workout videos and maths challenges for your child to tackle. And to keep things fresh, content is updated every 20 days. And like you, we want to support our NHS heroes however we can, which is why £1 of every Mighty Maths purchase will be donated to the NHS. To start using Mighty Maths in your daily homeschool routine, sign up today.